Hello guys, this is Phoenix Tutorials, so you better expect some awesome tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this. Yes, I know, epic. Without wasting any more time, let's get into this. First thing you're going to do is set your Fan Textures 3 in Toolbox and just drag this out. Everything we're going to need is going to be in this little 6, 2, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Okay, first we're going to insert a part. Now the size of the pad is very important, so make sure everything's like a 2, 2, 2, 2. Now we can just go ahead and set transparency to 1, move this up so it's like easier to see the ability. Now go to model, you see rotate, make sure that box is checked, make this 45. Add a path limiter in it and rotate this till the path limiter is facing to the side. So we want it to look like this. Now you're done that, you add an attachment. And what you want is one path limiter in the attachment and five path limiters not in the attachment. So six path calls in total. Now you should have something that looks that looks like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and name them so I can recognize them when I'm making them. So first thing is going to be circle. You can name these whatever you want, but you can choose not to even name them. Okay, now I've done that, we're going to walk under flame first. Fire, flame, same thing. Okay, scroll down to the very bottom, we're going to be editing this path first. Change lifetime to 0.3, rate to 100, speed to 30. Now I'm going to go up and edit that path, change light influence to 0, light emission to 1, brightness to 1. Ooh, we forgot to like put in the texture. Okay, come here, to, like, you know which one I'm talking about, the big blurry circle. Come here, and paste it into the file. And we'll get something that looks like this. Okay, light emission to 1, brightness to 1. Now, in fan textures, we can go to fire color. This is the color that I'm going to be using. You can use whatever you want. And we'll get a color that looks like this. Then we'll go over to transparency. Move this one all the way up. And this one right here. And then for size, we just move this all the way up. And we have some that looks like this. And like that, we're already on our way. Okay, we're gonna delete the second file and duplicate the first file and just change the texture to the small circle. And voila, we have this. We're already done two out of six of them. The next thing we're going to be doing is the smoke. Okay, so you just go here and grab this one. And paste it into the smoke. Enable it and we get this. First, I'm just going to change the bottom features. So, lifetime to 1, rate to 40, rotation to negative 360, to 360, same for rotation speed, speed to 20, wait, speed to 20, spread angle to 0. So now we're going to change the up part, light influence to 0, yep, just ends there. <laughs> Time for size. So for size, we just move this here and move this last part all the way up here, like below half. And then we can start changing transparency, which is the last thing we have to do. And the transparency is kind of weird, but you should get the general idea. So you move 
down all the way up the second one to the second one move this one in between that and that and then move this one all the way up and you get something that looks kind of like this then z offset to negative 0.1 Ooh, we forgot to change the color okay so for once we're gonna be using a gradient for the color now this gradient you just like make one a darker gray be looking at the particle so you see if you like it make one like a really dark gray and make this one a lighter gray I want to change this to make this lighter. Okay, done. And we're done a half of this. Now we're just going to add some debris and the circle around it. First the circle, though. So we're going to double click that. Go to the circle. And paste the texture into the circle. Enable this. And as always, we're going to start with the bottom part. So lifetime 2.6, rate to 3.5, yes, specifically 3.5. Rotation to negative 360, road speed to 200. Speed to 20. And now we're gonna move on to the up path. Light influence to zero. Brightness to 5. Orientation, velocity, perpendicular. So where, where it says everything else, <laughs> yeah, we're going to use that color for the circle. Because when making particles, we want like all our particles to have generally the same color. Unless it has to have specifically a different color. So light emission to 1. Then we can change up the size. By moving this all the way up and moving this just a little bit down and then lastly we can change up the transparency by moving this one all the way here and moving this one all the way here to get something that looks like this and we are almost done as you can see, all we have left is those debris. So basically add an extra detail to make it look really fine. So I'm gonna go over to dots, copy this texture and paste it into dots. Enable it, set light influence to zero, light emission to one. By the way, light influence just makes it so it's not affected by the daytime if it's zero. Wait, that made no sense. So if light influence is zero, then it wouldn't be affected by how bright the outside world is. It will always be the same brightness no matter what. Light emission to one, brightness to five. You see everything else? Yeah, copy that too, yeah, for dots. Paste it and we have this. Now, set orientation to velocity parallel, set size to 0.2. The transparency is just a linear thingy in which it just goes up, like that. Now, set Z offset to 1, so it's in front. And now, we're going to go down to the bottom things. Set lifetime to 1, set rate to 40. Set rotation to negative 360, 360. Set rotation speed to 100. Set speed to 10. And set spread angle to negative 20, 20. And like that, we have done the dots box, whatever you want to call it, to add extra detail. Now we're going to add one last extra debris detail, which are the spikes. So you just go down to the last one, this little line over here. And you copy that and you paste this into the spikes. Enable it so I can go all the way to the bottom. 
set lifetime to one, rate to forty, speed to ten, spread angle to negative twenty five comma twenty five, and now we're gonna go back up. Set velocity to velocity parallel. Ooh, already looking good. Set light influence to zero, light emission to one, brightness to five. Set the color of everything else to the color of the spikes. And then we're just going to change up size, squash, transparency, and Z offset. So for the size, we're going to make all, we're just going to push this one a little bit down. For the squash, I know this might seem like minimal, like really small movements, but trust me, they make a big difference. So for the squash, we're just going to push this one a little bit down. For transparency, it's just going to be like a linear transparency. So all the last one all the way up. And for Z offset, we're just going to set that to negative one. And like that, guys, we are done this amazing ability, which I still don't have a name for. We're just going to call it like Fire Hill or like Meteorite or something. Now, if you guys have been wondering what in the world this is, you should go check out the video right here. Bye guys, see you in the next tutorial.